Hello guys, I'm going to talk to you about the enzyme what we're going to do on Friday. Um, we're going to investigate the activity of the catalase enzyme from yeast. Um, the traditional lab for this was um, turnip peroxidase activity using color charts and spectrophotometers, but um, we're not going to be doing this since I don't have the uh, oxygen indicator uh, quite call so we're going to be doing a um, alternative activity to to investigate the catalase enzyme activity from yeast so uh, I ask you to watch the video very carefully so and read the lab manual and come prepared please I will do my best to try to explain the main idea of this of this lab uh, and I expect you to do your best to complete this lab successfully. Um, what we're going to do in this lab that we're going to use a graduated cylinder to um, to measure the amount of or volume of the oxygen gas released from the reaction, and this, the reaction is going to be happening in a, a glass vial. You're going to use the glass vial as your um, reaction chamber and you're going to use yeast suspension and you're going to use hydrogen peroxide solution there will be two parts of this lab one will be a guided lab that we're going to just calculate the um, calculate the reaction rate of catalase enzyme under certain conditions and then in the second part you're going to do your own investigation by designing it by yourselves. Um, now I will go ahead and do the lab very briefly, just explaining you the, how to do the lab. I'm not going to talk about. I'm not going to talk anything about how we're going to analyze the results. Everything else will be discussed when we're doing the lab. This is just to let you know what you're going to go through when you're doing the lab. So let's go ahead and do the lab. Okay, so submerge your graduated cylinder into the sink. Make sure there is no air bubbles in your graduated cylinder. So after you submerge your graduated cylinder, submerge your um, plastic tubing with your rubber stopper in it and using this syringe, inject air in your plastic tubing so there is no water remained in the plastic tubing. Insert your plastic tubing in your graduated cylinder. Now, next, you're going to use your syringe and your yeast suspension. It's important to mix it before you take your yeast sample. Take three milliliters of yeast suspension and add it into your glass vial. and do the same with hydrogen peroxide 3 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide and add this in your glass vial reaction will immediately start 
make sure you mix the contents nicely and insert your rubber stopper in your glass vial and watch the reaction happening since this reaction is releasing oxygen gas you, you'll see bubbles rising on the top and you will take your measurements for you take measurements every 15 seconds for 3 minutes you'll take measurements every 15 seconds for 3 minutes and record your observations on your data table well there is something not something wrong but we need a control in this experiment and we're going to discuss what we can do as a control when we're doing the lab I mean before doing the lab so that's it thank you for watching